Hello there, I'm Velocity, I'm one of the Divine RPG developers, and this is the first video of a small mini-series where I answer frequently asked questions about Divine RPG. And first I'm going to uh, tell things that probably everyone knows, but I still feel obliged to do so. Um, so first, uh, what is Divine RPG? Divine RPG is a mod um, that runs on Forge and newer versions run also on NeoForge. At the mod, you can download uh, on CurseForge or Modern. And we also have a GitHub um, page where you can uh, look at the code and maybe contribute to the project or just uh, report issues if you have found any. Uh, also, how to install the mod, I'm not going to um, do an installation guide here, there are way too many already. So, just look up uh, Minecraft mod installation guide and you will see how that works. So, also one commonly asked question is, uh, can I use this mod in a mod pack? And of course you can, um, the same as many other mods. Uh, so yeah, back to more relevant questions. Uh, one of the most uh, common questions asked is uh, how do I start? What, what should I do at the beginning of uh, the game? And I just recommend uh, playing as if you're playing vanilla. So just start the game and do as you would normally do in a vanilla game and just find out uh, and discover things along the way and uh, start playing Divine RPG uh, that way. So, of course, um, whilst uh, playing Divine RPG, I also recommend uh, to uh, get yourself just enough items, just enough resources and the attribute fix mod so uh, this is because um, if you have any questions about recipes or how do I craft or get a specific mob drop, just enough items and just enough resources will tell you everything about that. So you don't need to look up uh, anything on a wiki or anything. And attribute fix uh, fixes a vanilla bug uh, that uh, caps uh, mob health to uh, 1024 and some mobs in this mod uh, go above that health uh, cap so if you don't have attribute fix installed you will just have maximally 1024 health mobs uh, but if you don't want that and want the true divine rpg experience uh, please install attribute fix Okay, so you're pretty much set up to just go and play Divine RPG. If you don't have any more questions, just do so. Uh, but here are also some items you might want to get uh, at the start of your game. So, first, here are the four uh, bosses you would want to beat in the beginning of the game. Uh, starting with the Ancient Entity which you can summon in the overworld by just right-clicking the mysterious clock. Um, then the Watcher here is a nether boss, which you can summon in the nether, of course, with right-clicking the call of the Watcher. The Scorcher King is also a nether boss, and you right-click with an infernal flame to summon it. And the Airaco statue, uh, <laughs> the Airaco boss, of course, this is just a statue of the boss, um, you can summon in the end with a Horde Horn, preferably after you killed the Ender Dragon. Um, yeah, how to obtain the items I just uh, showed, I will um, make a more uh, detailed uh, video in the second ep episode about these. But if we go to the back here, I also uh, laid out some items you might want to get at the start of the game. So for the overworld, here are all the weapons you can obtain by just staying in the overworld. You don't have to enter any other dimension. 
uh, which is quite a lot. So I'm just going to hover over all of those. And if um, anyone interests you, just pause the video and look at the item. And I don't know, look at its stats. Uh, and also, you will know the name. And that way you can just look up the recipe on um, just enough items. Uh, the one exception here is the scythe, you cannot craft that, uh, you get that from a, a merchant you find in the world. Um, as said, how to obtain specific items I'm going to put in the next video. So these are tools you can get by just staying in the overworld. So there's the real might, the arlemite, the terran, the rupee, the corrupted and the bedrock set. As for armor, there are quite a lot of armors you can get by just staying in uh, the overworld. Of course, uh, a lot of them are going to be quite of a grind. So, one of the main parts of Divine RPG is actually just grinding. And <laughs> if you want to play Divine RPG, just get used to grinding, I guess. But yeah, here... Um, uh, the Wither Reaper and the Skeleman and Jackoman armor are also merchant trades, you cannot craft those. And you want to keep in mind that if you have a full arm, uh, full set, so I'm going to hover over all of them, um, you always want to craft a full set out of the armor. Uh, because uh, if you do that, you get the full set perks which um, are additional bonus effects um, which can help you a lot during um, exploring then the other dimensions and so on. Here are the few items you can get by just staying in the nether, so you don't need overworld resources for crafting those. And here's uh, the armor you can craft, the inferno armor. Um, which you can craft with only nether resources. The ender bow is the only item you can craft from the end without going to other dimensions and the ender armor is the only one you can craft in the end. Um, then there are a lot of items you can craft by using um, resources from multiple dimensions. Um, and those here are the weapons, so uh, those are more often the battle weapons, so you want to focus on the interdimensional uh, items. Here are the tools, so this is the divine set, and here are the three armors, so Toridite, Angelic and Divine. And there are also some items you might want, uh, want to obtained during your game. So the armor pouch is a very useful item which can instantly swap your um, equipped armor. The healing stone just heals you. A hellfire sponge is a better sponge so it sucks up more water. Uh, the spike blocks uh, damage mobs that stand on top of them so they are very useful for mob farms. Lastly I'm going to um, show you how to unlock the next three dimensions. So these are the first dimensions uh, you can enter in the game. Um, this here is the Isekia portal. You make it out of snow blocks and you light it with the snow globe. So, yeah. Um, this here is the Eden portal. You make it out of divine rock and you light it with a twilight clock. And for the arcana portal, you don't need anything to light it. Um, all you need is 12 of the arcana portal flame frames, and you place them in this fashion. And this will automatically open the uh, portal. You want to make sure that just the dot here always faces the center and you have uh, faces without the dot on the outside. And uh, that's pretty much it. So um, 
as said um, next um, next episode I'm going to talk about how to exactly obtain most of the basic resources and um, also if you have any more questions you can ask them in the regular places so the Divine RPG Discord, uh, the comments section here of course and my personal Discord as well, uh, links to all are of course going to be in this description. So yeah, uh, bye.